Hello and welcome. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short video. My name is Samantha Garrett and I'm one of the product specialists here at Pegasus Software and over the next 10 minutes or so I'm going to introduce you to the new Rectify Allocation Utilities now available for Opera 3 sales and purchase ledgers. The Rectify Journals utility within Opera 3's nominal ledger was a huge success with our customers. It provided an easy-to-use, hassle-free facility to rectify and repost nominal journals that may have been posted to perhaps the wrong account or to the wrong date. This meant that the user didn't have to go through line by line, do all of the reversals and post all of the adjustments manually. So, to further strengthen the error correction utilities within Opera 3, the latest release now incorporates Rectify Allocation Utilities to allow our customers to undo incorrect allocations with the added ability of also being able to remove the associated transactions such as a sales receipt or a purchase payment. Both of these utilities are available as standard within Opera 3 sales and purchase ledgers and have been designed to significantly speed up and simplify the current processes required for rectifying misallocated transactions. So let's look at the sales ledger rectify allocation facility first and let's imagine this scenario. Let's say that we've received a cheque from a customer with no remin slip and no reference to the invoice that they're intending to pay or part pay with this cheque. We do our best to allocate the cheque correctly, however with lots of invoices outstanding for similar amounts, let's face it, we're only human and mistakes can be easily made. Later on, the customer points out that actually that cheque was to pay for a different invoice because maybe the invoice that we've allocated the receipt to isn't actually due until the end of next month. So what do we do? Well currently we might raise a credit note, then post a refund, allocate the two together and then start the whole cycle all over again by entering the invoice, then the receipt and then allocating them together correctly. This can be a tedious and time consuming process and then at the end of the month when it comes to auditing it can be quite difficult to backtrack and see exactly what happened with all of these transactions. Surely all we want to do is deallocate and then reallocate the receipt to the correct invoice, right? This should be a straightforward, quick and simple process. Well as you're about to see, now it is with the new Rectify Allocation Utilities. Let's rectify this situation. First, we need to locate the customer's record and then from the action menu we're going to select the new Rectify Allocation Utility which presents itself as a user-friendly wizard that will guide us through this simple process. We have a range of selection criteria here. I'm simply going to select date range, I'm going to leave it blank and I'm going to hit next. And this displays to me all of the allocated transactions for this customer that are available for deallocation. Of course, in the real world, you may have hundreds of allocated transactions listed here, so we need to be able to find the transactions misallocated easily. So we can either use the active grid functionality, perhaps to sort on either one of the columns, or I can use the search facility, which will search across all of the data that I have within this grid to make it easier to find what we're looking for. So we could enter perhaps a reference or the date or even an amount. I'm going to enter in the invoice number. I'll hit find next and then it displays to me the transactions that it found that meet what I've entered. And if we say OK, you can see that automatically we've been moved down to that transaction within our grid. Now we can see the below receipt that's been allocated to the invoice because of the allocations number. However, if I double click the invoice or hit F5, we can see that the system intuitively selects the other transactions associated with this allocation. Now, it might be that we want to completely remove that receipt, in which case I could select the remove allocated transactions tick box. However, in this example, I simply want to break the allocation link to allow me to then reallocate to the correct invoice. So I'm going to hit next. Here it's showing me the invoice and the receipt that is to be rectified and deallocated and we must put in a comment for auditing purposes. So I'm going to say paid incorrect invoice and all that's left to do is hit start. The system prompts me, are you sure you want to rectify this allocation? I'm going to say yes. 
and then the publisher is displayed and I'll send that through to screen which gives us an audit report of the allocation that we have just undone. If we close the report down we can see that the transactions are now greyed out because they've been rectified and all that's left to do is close the wizard down. I'm logged in as a user that has access to the allocations routine and because I haven't opted to remove any transactions, I'm therefore being given the option to reallocate the receipt now. I'm going to say yes. Straight away we're taken into the allocation screen and I'm going to select the receipt and allocate it in full to this invoice 667. And there you have it. It's that simple. So what's actually happened here? Well, in this example, we've simply deallocated and then reallocated. So the link between the invoice and the receipt was broken. No balances were actually updated. It just means that both the receipt and the invoice would have been visible in the customer's outstanding transactions. However, we reallocated at the same time. So if we now go into the account view and view all transactions, we'll find the receipt. We can see that the receipt has been allocated against this invoice because the stat number is the same. We can also see the original invoice there that we allocated the receipt against, which is now outstanding. Very often you may have one receipt allocated to several invoices, in which case, when you select the receipt to be deallocated, the Rectify Allocation Wizard would have automatically selected the associated transactions for you, ready to be deallocated. OK, let's look at another scenario. What if we've received a cheque but it bounces? Or for whatever reason, the cheque needs to be cancelled, in which case we haven't actually received the cash into our bank account. However, we've already posted the receipt and allocated it against the relevant invoice. What we need is to be able to remove the receipt transaction from our system. So let's scroll through and find a different customer. This time Abington Hire. We're going to go into Action and we're going to pick up Rectify Allocation. Again, I'm going to leave the date range blank and we're going to go through to Next. I'll find the receipt in question, as I haven't got too many transactions here. F5 will double click and we can see it selects both the invoice and the receipt for us. However, this time, because I want to remove the receipt, I'm going to tick the Remove Allocated Transactions tick box. And with regards to removing transactions, invoices, credit notes and adjustments, unless the adjustments are exchange discrepancies, will never be removed. Only the monetary transactions will be removed, as these are the transactions that you're more likely to need to remove, such as receipts, payments, refunds, discounts or exchange discrepancy transactions. So let's hit next. Because we're removing a receipt, we are going to be updating the nominal ledger. In my example, I'm using Open Period Accounting, therefore it's asking us to enter in a nominal ledger posting date. The system will then go off and check to see if that period I've selected is open to accept postings from sales to nominal. I'm going to say OK. And then up at the top, we can see the transactions ready to be deallocated. And then this time, down at the bottom, we can see the receipt that we've opted to be removed. Again, I'm going to put in a comment, so I'm going to say bounce check, and I'm going to hit start. Again, the system prompts me, are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I am. Up comes the publisher, which gives us an audit trail showing us firstly the deallocated transactions, and then also the removed receipt down at the bottom of the report. So let's close the report down and I'll hit finish. Now, if we load the outstanding account view, we can see that the invoice 556 is still outstanding. However, the receipt is no longer visible and that's because it's been removed. And if we close that down, we can see that the current balance for this customer has increased by £4,800, as if we never actually received the cheque in the first place because our customer still owes us this cash. And of course, this is going to affect our bank balances, which will go down by the amount of the receipt. And the reverse side to that posting is to the debtor's control account, which is actually increased because the customer still owes us that money. So let's have a look and see what's happened in the nominal ledger. 
I'm using real time update of nominal, so my journals have been posted straight away. However, if you're not using real time, then this posting will be sitting in the transfer file, ready to be transferred into the nominal. So let's go into our nominal view and we'll filter purely for the current period, which is period 3, 2012. I'm going to select a simple view by type, subtype, and then account, and then I'm going to hit refresh. And there, as we expand out our current assets, we can see that our trade debtors has been debited by £4,800. And also, in our main bank account, it has been credited £4,800, as we no longer have this cash in our account. And if we actually drill down into the journal data, there we can see the reverse posting of the original receipt. The key point here is that the original receipt posting and the reversal posting from removing the receipt will both be available within the nominal ledger and cash book if required for auditing purposes. However, you will not see the removed transactions directly in either the sales or purchase ledgers, but they will be available for auditing and reporting purposes within the new rectified allocations report. So let's close that down. And along come the auditors, asking us to run the allocations report. And as they start to go through this report, hang on, we've got some missing here, where have they gone? So we can then run the new rectified allocations report. I'll ask it to please include remove transactions, which we can then use to fill in the gaps missing from the allocations report. These two reports run hand in hand. Now, of course, there will be other scenarios. For example, there may be discounts or exchange discrepancy transactions for foreign currency customers associated with some allocations. In these circumstances, they will be removed automatically when running through the Rectify Allocation Wizard because these transactions may be specific to the invoice the receipt was allocated to in the first place and would therefore not be relevant to the invoice that you may be reallocating it to. The Rectify Allocation Wizard and the Rectified Allocations Report are both available within Opera 3's Purchase Ledger as well. They work in exactly the same way that we've just seen within the Sales Ledger. However, the journals that will be posted will be the exact reverse of those made within the Sales Ledger. Both of these utilities within Opera 3 Sales and Purchase Ledger significantly enhance Opera 3's error correction facilities. This is a huge step forward for Opera 3. Firstly, being able to very simply break the allocation to allow the user to allocate to a different invoice, but then to also be able to delete the associated transactions at the same time, not only does that keep our systems tidier, but it speeds up the processes we would have previously have had to have taken to rectify these types of situations. So now, as you've just seen, we only need to run one intuitive easy to use wizard which does all of the hard work for us and eliminates the chance of further mistakes being made. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short video on Opera 3's Rectify Allocation Utilities, now available for Opera 3.